Adam, you were with the league when Michael Jordan left the league a quarter century ago. And obviously, we're here from Brian James' 20th All-Star game this year. For a generation, he's sort of been the face of the league, arguably. I know we're not sure how long he's going to play, but at some point, probably in the fairly near future, he will not be around anymore. And I was curious what your thoughts are on sort of what the league will look like after that and what your thoughts are in terms of sort of replacing him as the face of the league at some point moving forward. Um, interesting question, Tim. I would say, first of all, I, I would never anoint another player to be the next LeBron James, just in the same way when Michael retired. And, and as you're right, I was part of the league then. That question often came up and said, who's going to be the Mi next Michael Jordan? And I remember at the time, David Stern or others were saying, whoever demonstrates on the court that they should be, that's what's so wonderful about the competition and a league. Of course, no one could get anointed, but the league should have started their marketing and promotion of other teams and players. It seems like the upcoming crop of new generational players, especially born in the United States, they have not quite yet taken the mantle. Guys like Jean Moran, Zion Williams, and Jason Tatum. They haven't taken the mantle of just being the league's figurehead, even for their generation. But also you add on top of that, the guys have been making major impact for the past five, six years have been international guys. Giannis, Embiid, Jokic. And the league has trouble marketing those players to the American market. Make no mistake about it, the American audience tends to gravitate towards their own. Overseas, you see it play out in the English Premiership where the audience from those local countries are accustomed to celebrating players not necessarily from their country, like Christian Ronaldo, Messi. But within the American market, the American audience is not accustomed to being marketed international stars. <laughs> That's the conundrum of the league. And it's not ironic that you see all these international players coming in and dominating is because the league in the past 10 years plus have invested money into developing players overseas. So now we're seeing the results of it. But the conundrum that they're having is that they can't market it to the American audience. But the ace they do have in their pocket is that the international audience is going to eventually grow. And that's how the league in a way could kind of trump themselves over the NFL by having a global audience. But within America alone, ever since Michael Jordan has played, the league's ratings have pretty much stagnated. It receives a little bump every now and then, like the Golden State Warriors and Cleveland Cavaliers finals. But that number still didn't reach the Michael Jordan peak of the NBA Finals audience. I'd also say I think the league is in fantastic hands. I mean, just look at the all-stars that we're going to be seeing competing tomorrow night. As I said, from the time that Michael retired to now, look at the magnitude of the pool of international players coming into this league. Look at the amount of basketball that's being played on a global basis. I think it, it's, again, that these these new players aren't anointed. They um, demonstrate to the world, they demonstrate to the league that... Peep the language, they demonstrate to the world, the players globally. The NBA has already pivoted from being known as an American league to now they're the global league. That's pretty much where their growth is going to come from. Once again, the conundrum is marketing those international stars to the American market, which I believe can work, but it has to work starting with the younger generation and attracting that demo, which right now presents another conundrum. The younger generation does not consume the NBA the same way the previous generations have, but they will be accustomed to accepting the global star. They deserve to be um, viewed in that same rare position as players like Michael and Kobe and, and LeBron and others. So let's just watch the competition but i'm and i'm certain certain people in this room have their own ideas looking at some of these young guys who those players could be but but as i said it, the, the 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 level of basketball and even you talk to some of the greats from from the past will say it's just it's a remarkable to watch what these guys now physically are able to do on the floor the talent in the league is definitely remarkable but some of these younger players are going to have to want to take the mantle because the new generation of players are pretty much introverted, as a lot of people in their generation are. So the way LeBron James opened himself up to social media and taking in all those criticisms, the younger generation that grew up on social media, they do not want that same type of heat. They actually will go in and look at the negative comments. 
So Adam Silver may have a little bit of difficulty of getting guys like Tatum, Zion Williams to put themselves out more, display more personality. And he's got to get Ja Morant to correct his behavior because Ja was already the key. He already had all the tools on the court and off the court, especially pertaining to social media. But he fucked all that up. But when it comes to marketing, they really got to start laying off of LeBron James. Because at this point, nobody's going to believe a 40-year-old guy is going to lead a team to an NBA championship. The Lakers have been hovering over 500 for the last three to four years. It took a 2020 pandemic for LeBron to get plenty of rest and make his run in the finals. But other than that, LeBron James has not really been relevant when it comes to the NBA championship trophy. And you've seen it play out no further than in last year's Western Conference Finals. To get swept the way they did, it shows you them going through all that weak competition. But when faced up against real competition, they're nowhere near championship level. So the league definitely in the marketing level are going to have to pivot off of LeBron James.